Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Guru Prasad Peruri, uh, DM Neonatologist, uh, the faculty for uh, ADR uh, Super Specialty Pediatrics Division. So, like every year, this year we are conducting interviews of uh, toppers. The main uh, idea behind these videos is to sensitize all the future aspirants uh, and know the tips and techniques from the toppers who have uh, achieved their goal. So, today uh, we have with us Dr. Nasiruddin. Uh, who's got uh, All India Rank 52 with a score of 405 marks. That too in his first attempt. So we will uh, learn from him in his own words about his preparation strategy, what was his examination tactics, etc. Everything. So welcome Dr. Nasiruddin. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for the... Okay. So what is your feeling right now? Uh, sir, basically I'm really very happy. Uh, to have achieved this rank. I actually did not expect this much rank and I also did not have a good time to, you know, uh, cover up for the topics and, uh, you know, uh, to cover all the important areas within very short time. And I was a bit not confident also. So definitely it's uh, very happy. I'm feeling very happy. Okay, great. This happens with everyone. Everyone, see, even the first ranker not have completed entire thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a way to merit, like how you perform on the day compared to others. Yes. So, can you please, uh, tell our viewers, like, what, where did you do your MBBS, your MD, and what were you doing for the last six months? So, uh, basically, I'm from Gulbarga, Karnataka. I did my uh, UG from Karnataka Institute of Medical Science, hopefully. And then I did my post-graduation uh, from All India Institute of Medical Science, Rishikesh. So I uh, completed my MD in this February 2022, uh, this, this year. And uh, I actually started preparing, uh, I think, one or two months before our end MD exams, actually. Uh, so, but I, I was not, uh, you know, not on track that way, because also we had MD exams that time. So post MD, uh, like uh, around 15, 20 day, days back, uh, to 20 days after this exam, we uh, seriously started preparing. So actually. Okay. So what was your preparation strategy? Like which books you were reading? How many hours you were reading per day? So I, um, uh, I only stick to uh, basically Nelson first, upon, first and foremost. Sir. And for uh, neonatology, uh, clarity, actually during our MD days also, uh, Clawhity we used to refer and most of the uh, most of our consultants also they used to you know, uh, help us to go through Clawhity also and uh, I think I was a bit familiar with Clawhity at that time and Nelson was my primary source of uh, you know, uh, uh, learning uh, during MD time also and I feel like uh, Nelson and for uh, some part of Clawhity for neonatology I think that is best source uh, if you want to get a very de decent rank. So not, not uh, getting into so many sources, I think we should avoid that. Okay. So I feel like these two books are very good enough. Yes, yes. Nelson is more than enough. I don't think uh, direct lines were taken from Nelson this yes, time also. Yes, yes, yes. Nelson okay. remains the star book. Sir. Like, uh, you can't neglect Nelson. Yes, yes. There. During this thing, see everyone cannot be uh, continuously motivated no sometimes you feel low sometimes you feel like quitting and mm -hmm. so sometimes why should i do a dm and all like what kept you motivating uh, to keep you studying uh, then, uh, these things yes sir, sir uh, actually uh, initial two three months also uh, i didn't have that time to match with my working hours and all so uh, from last three months onwards, uh, it was um, you know a very consistent preparation. Which basically, if I feel like so, initial three four months were uh, not that great, and I was very slow, and that, it was very difficult for me that time. And I thought like this year <laughs> it might go like that likewise, and I think uh, I might also appear for next year. I thought that way. But uh, mm -hmm. consistency is the main key which you should uh, carry on, sir, actually. And coming to the number of hours, sir, it all depends upon your personal capacity. But uh, I personally feel like minimum at least seven hours in day 
from last three three months of the preparation before exam i think that is must at least at least that is at least okay <laughs> great great uh so do you think like example adr plan, do you think do you need mcq based learning or simply if you learn so many people ask no like do you need uh, to enroll in these platforms to read all these things or uh, just keep reading and attempt the exam so what what do you suggest um it's not so actually you need some guidance basically and you need to you know um come up with um, you know a concise way to make your nelson and uh, you can't just write, write everything which is present in nelson so you need to get some important points from them so i i think uh, that will help if uh, you enroll in some good platform uh that will definitely help uh, this will help you in uh, re revision also because you know uh, concising all the uh, important topics and uh, revising it uh, before one week at least before exam that is very important revision is the key basically so this will help in revision so so you, and going for mcqs is also equally very important because like uh, i uh, felt like which topics which are very easy Uh, even during md uh, md uh, during md time and all which we used to read so many times that you cannot so some questions were you know unsolvable uh, so definitely that mcq will help you to think in that way and read it in that way actually so just reading without solving an mcq uh, definitely it will increase your memory but uh, the way how to answer the question that will be done only after you practice mcq okay good like how did our uh, adr plexus help you so basically uh, you had a very good question bank uh, and a uh, five test series and it was same like uh, how the pattern was this uh, neat ss pattern so uh, that and all the topics and everything question which were framed were from nelson so, so this uh, actually helped in revising those topics with that four options and those scenarios which you make so it will just get imprinted in your uh, mind like ha huh, this was the uh, you know the topic and you get to learn in that uh, in that question itself those topics so that was a very good i uh, know uh, way for us to learn through adr plexus okay good good like one more thing what was your exam strategy like how many questions you attempted suppose uh, like uh, like uh, some people will attempt only uh, 130 questions or 140 some people will say attempt but what was your strategy yes, sir uh, when he started exam like first few questions like around 15 questions was so very tough and i thought like this exam i think we, we i will not be able to clear but as in when the question paper went on it uh, some matlab some questions were you know uh, doable and many were uh, repeats on so and some very simple questions of neat ug level were also there so the, basically the thing is uh, you should be uh, very um, uh, uh, concentrating uh, to the questions uh, you uh, you should not be panic panic uh, during the exam so uh, the way you uh, look for first question <laughs> you should look all the questions thereafter uh, with same confidence and with same presence of mind so that presence of mind is very important in that exam and that uh, will be helpful if you keep on practicing uh, such long session exams which also adr plexus help out so without pa pausing your, the exam so you should continue to stay uh, two and a half hours and complete all the 150 that will be a kind of you know exercise for you in the exam and the second thing was um, like uh, i attempted 144 questions actually sir and uh, i felt like around 90 200 questions i felt like uh, i will complete it uh, truly but uh, 20 to 30 questions were like very tricky and around 20 questions i <laughs> never heard of and actually i didn't i was not able to you know rule out any one option so so that was the way sir okay how many uh, questions you think out of 150 came from uh, our uh, test series like not exactly same some related topics or something like that rough number like um, around out of around 70 to 80% were like uh, very direct from nelson sir 
and uh, somewhere around the topics which uh, you had taken in uh, your platform and uh, uh, basically at least you know something about that topic you will be able to at least rule out some of the other options so with some educated guess and all you can rule out the from a, among the other two so that will be helpful sir okay good night so one more thing like what advice you will give for those who are studying pg okay and what advice you will give for those who have completed their md and might be practicing uh, private practicing or are doing their senior residency mm -hmm. so what advice so those who are in md sir like first two, two years definitely it will be very difficult for any resident and uh, also you need to you know orient yourself to the subject and get you to know your interest and all so that will be uh, very important so that uh, you do your clinical work is very important during the first two year at least and then third in your onwards you should try to get yourself focus to uh, working for neat ss if you are willing to go for dm so basically the best time will be to at least to indulge yourself in these uh, you know platforms or mcq solving from third year onwards or at least by the end of third year before your uh, along with your md preparations so that will be helpful very much helpful uh, and second thing is uh, consistency and dedication and revision start revision these are must sir so you should not lose your hope uh, some days might be you know good some days you should you you might feel low but uh, i think consistency keeping uh, reading at least daily and solving in sequence daily that will definitely help sir that will definitely pay off okay this is for md then who is practicing or uh, doing senior residency yes uh, for senior residency uh, definitely sir um, uh, you you should br uh, brush up your uh, the those which have uh, studied in md and important topics you should collect and at least uh, you should be thorough with those topics you should not be uh, such that uh, if you leave on those question that rank will be very much hampered so those repeats topic important topics that should that should be done uh, at any cost and solving mcqs so that is the strategy which should you should go on with okay so final question what is your uh, branch of interest and which colleges you are expecting uh, sir basically i am interested in both neonatology or oncology so i'll see like what will be best for me sir oh, okay okay i hope uh, you will get your branch of interest and uh, all the best for you nasiruddin uh, stay in touch so i hope our so sure. all the best for you thank you sir thank you